Hello, so uh, this will just be a quick video that explains how to use my Arduino LaTeX listing library uh, to put nicely highlighted Arduino code into your LaTeX papers. Um, so here's an example of how it'll look when we uh, when we finish. So you see you've got nice syntax highlighting, some like line numbers there, a little box around it. Some of that stuff's optional, you can configure it. I don't really remember how I did it, but we'll see if we figure it out. Okay, so for starters, go ahead and go to github.com forward slash trihedral forward slash Arduino LaTeX listing and download the repository. Download as a zip, I guess. And that should go to my downloads. Yep, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and unzip it here. All right, so there are the files in there that we'll use. Uh, really, we're only, only going to need to use the uh, Arduino language.txt. All right, so just for, for brevity, I'll just use Overleaf here um, as an example. So I'm going to make a new project. I'll just use their example project with the frog or whatever. All right, project or something. Create. There it goes. Open it up for us. All right, uh, and it's compiling right now, but we don't really need to wait on that. So I'm going to hit upload in the corner here. And we're going to grab that. Oh, geez, it went straight in. We're going to grab that um, Arduino language.txt that we downloaded earlier and unzipped. All right, so now it's just sitting in here next to our main. So main is just going to use that like a library. Uh, we don't need to modify Arduino language.txt. Okay, so in order to actually um, use this thing, well, I'm just going to refer to my example because I, I don't really remember how it works. So um, let's just go back to the GitHub page and open up latexexample.txt. I mean, you also downloaded this file, I guess. You could look at it that way, but whatever, this is easy. So here it is. Uh, we're going to want to copy the top line here that sort of imports the Arduino language file. Um, and we're also going to want to copy over this uh, this act of defining a custom style. What that allows us to do is to set uh, additional keywords to be to be highlighted, some syntax highlighting, ones that aren't automatically highlighted within Arduino. Um, copy that stuff, and we need to put that somewhere before begin document. Um, just put it right after these use packages before begin document there. Okay, um, so here's the, here they are, and now uh, we want to actually put some Arduino code in. Uh, I'll just do it like at the bottom of this paragraph. Um, so in order to do that, we just use this begin list listings tag, and we tell them which style to use. So that is the my Arduino style. Oh, well, that's the style we defined at the top when I pasted that block of code in. And then you just end that uh, list listings. There we go. <clears throat> cool. So we paste in whatever pro Arduino program we want. Paste it in right here. I've got one here we can use. Select all. Control A. Copy. Control C. Paste it in. So, so that's long, but you can see I pasted it before the end list listings and after the beginning, which was right here. Right, we'll go put a little more space in there. There we go. All right, now let's compile that, see how it looks. All right, looks good. Um, zoom in a little bit, maybe here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay. Yep, so you can see the syntax is highlighting hopefully the same way it highlights inside of the Arduino IDE. You got some line numbers there and a box around it. Um, yeah, the box, uh, you can get rid of the box by commenting out one or both of these, I think. Go ahead and play around with that. And um, you see, uh, for example, SD here. You can see I've listed that in my um, style. Uh, that actually doesn't highlight. Uh, natively in the Arduino IDE. It only highlights uh, if you have certain libraries installed or imported or whatever. Um, so yeah, so my language only, uh, I, I looked inside the Arduino's configuration files and I found what 
they highlight inherently. So my actual uh, Arduino language only highlights the, the native ones. If you want to highlight anything extra like I wanted to for this project, you list them here. So if you look in your IDE and you see that something is supposed to be bold orange, but it's not bold orange over here, well then you just list it. Oops. You just list it here inside of these uh, these curly braces. So for example, if we wanted to make therm pin uh, be bold orange, type it in, in the same way it is over here, recompile, and there it went. Of course, I don't really want to do that, so never mind, but you get the idea. All right, so uh, that is about it. Of course, this is... Um, and recompile. Uh, this is a pretty long program to just paste right inside of a paper, so you'd, want, you'd probably want to put something this long in an appendix at the end. Um, or, if you wanted to, you could just paste in uh, particular functions instead, like this git probe reading function at the end. You just put that in between the, uh, the begin list listings in the end, and maybe then that could be small enough to be used as a figure. Um, It'll still have line numbers that start at 1, which is fine because you can just use those line numbers to refer to uh, to specific elements of the program from within your, your paper's text. And uh, that is about it.